Hello everybody, this is Don Pipkin. I'm here for a very special live from my home concert for the Chiswick Calendar and uh, I hope you guys are enjoying it. I've played for the Chiswick Calendar a couple of times at the George in Chiswick and I've had a most wonderful time, a great audience. It's been lovely to meet people who've come to hear me play and I hope you can enjoy this show I'm going to play for you now. This is uh, a large part of the Smoking Boogie Bad Boys Bourbon and the Big Easy show I've been doing where I tell people about the sounds and play people the sounds of New Orleans on the piano. Enjoy. Yes, indeed, I'm talking about you and me. I hope and I'm praying that you come back to me. Well, I'm lonely as I can be. I need your company. I hope and I'm praying that you come back to me. What you gonna do when the well run dry? You gonna run far away and hide. I'm gonna run back to your side. For you, pretty bit, I would even die. I'm walking. Yes, indeed, I'm talking about you and me, hoping and praying that you come back to me. Far away and hide. I, I wanna run back into your side. For you, pretty baby, I would even die. I'm walking. Yes, indeed, I'm talking about you and me. Hoping and praying that you'll come back to me. I said, hoping and praying that you'll come back to me. Well, I'm hoping and praying that you'll come back to me. Oh, yes, I do. Yeah, a little Fats Domino to kick things off. That's Fats Domino's tune, I'm Walking, of course. And um, I'm going to play a song by Percy Mayfield right now. Percy Mayfield was called the Poet of the Blues, and he wrote a song called The River's Lament. He wrote uh, Send Me Someone to Love, a much-covered blues tune. Um, and he also wrote a little song called Hit the Road, Jack, which you may have heard of. Um, some people say Ray Charles wrote it, but it was in fact Ray Charles hired Percy Mayfield is a songwriter and uh, he came up with that big hit. This is something more kind of uh, introspective of his and it's all about Louisiana, the state that he was from. It's a very beautiful song. Don't settle down, don't settle down, don't 
gonna sit down, gonna sit down in my own hometown. name of that song is Louisiana by Percy Mayfield. I hope everyone's doing good. Um, I hope people have been uh, kind of finding ways to, you know, stay together and all right during this time. And I'm really glad that I can be given this opportunity to play and bring you a concert. I do want to thank the Chiswick calendar very deeply. And I want to let everyone know that there's a donation uh, link associated with this concert. And the donation goes to the um, Upper Room Homeless Charity, the Chiswick Calendar, and me, the artist. So all three of us guys um, get that divided up. And please check it out. Uh, and if you've got something spare and if you feel like, you know, you can donate, it's always good and helps keep all of this stuff moving. Um, please do and please check out the links which are going to be coming your way. You can check that stuff out. I'm going to tell you about one of the one of a, a couple of very extraordinary New Orleans piano players. I'm very uh, drawn to this sound. I kind of was given some New Orleans piano to listen to when I was a lot younger than I am now, in my early 20s, and I really love the sounds. I love the sound of Professor Longhair and Dr. John that I got off this recording. And um, I kind of didn't set out to do it, but I just kind of knew immediately that I had to try and find out this style. <laughs> So like suddenly the piano made a lot more sense. I was a very, I played a bit of blues and a lot of modern jazz at the time. And that kind of really knitted the piano together for me. The sounds of Dr. John, Professor Longhair and people like that. And I've gone back in the journey and I've discovered more about the city. And how about this guy, Ferdinand Lamont, who would have spoken French at home with his family in the French quarter of New Orleans. And he actually lived and was born on, was born on a street named Frenchman Street, a very beautiful street in New Orleans that I've been on 
many times over the years. Many times have I had a drink on Frenchman Street and listened to some amazing music. It's now one of the hubs of music in New Orleans. And young Ferdinand, uh, he kind of revolutionised the, the sound of the piano. He took the ragtime style that was going around. <laughs> And he, he kind of clashed it with folk songs that were going on, um, elegant dance styles that were going around the, the smart side of New Orleans. Um, and with the, the street sounds he was hearing of players like Buddy Bolden and people with drums and brass who were kicking up this totally African influenced style of music that came from Africa via slavery to New Orleans. That was the syncopation that became jazz. Now, Ferdinand didn't keep the name Ferdinand Lamont all his life. Circumstances forced him to distance himself from his early uh, background and to sort of feel a little shame around his family. And he renamed himself Jelly Roll Morton, one of the original gangsters of music with a fantastic pimping name, Jelly Roll. And this song demonstrates his, what they call Spanish tinge. And that's kind of like the George Bizet, you know. <laughs> Spanish tinge, the habanera. This is the crave that Jelly Roll would have played in the sporting houses of New Orleans. His job would have been to play the piano in his early days of inventing or bringing about jazz with many others. Um, he would play in the sporting houses of New Orleans whilst the guys were getting ready for some action. <laughs> he being poured a drink and kind of relaxing in the parlour. He was the atmosphere creator with tunes like this, The Crave.
Morton's The Crane, as played in the early Storyville days of New Orleans. Storyville was the district of the red, the, the district of the red, the red light district where the madams and the sporting houses were housed. And it only lasted 20 odd years. It had been set up in uh, 1897, 1897. That's the, that's the year that the uh, Scott Joplin's first rag was published. And it was closed down by the American Navy in 1917 when they wanted uh, to sort of stop the effect on the sailors and the, you know, the war effort. They closed it down. And at that same time, um, the race laws changed somewhat and the uh, it became a, a, an unviable place for the sort of black community and the musical innovating community to continue doing what they were doing. And there was a big exodus of people from the sort of New Orleans to the north of the country, up to Harlem, you know, railways opened up and people were on the move. Billy Holiday sings about this in a song from 1940, and a, a movie from 1946 called simply New Orleans. And um, the song is called Farewell to Storyville. And in the movie, um, which stars Billy Holiday, we see the musicians packing their bags and leaving New Orleans in a big sort of uh, winding sort of queue, windows getting broken in the background. It was the end of the early days of jazz and Jelly Roll Morton's uh, starting life. Farewell to Storyville. Amuse, that's how you pay. Paid your bill, but the law came in and called it a sin. Gonna have yourself a little fun. Police cop made a stop. Now Storyville, oh Storyville, it don't know. The couch is steamer, go pick yourself a train. yourself a train They made you close up They'll never let you back Never gonna let you back no home So buy your ticket oh, Here's your walk the track No use complaining Blue sky, high, 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 follow rain. No use complaining. Blue sky, follow rain.
Go pick your steamer, go pick your silver train. No use complaining, blue skies follow rain. Said that cold drain. No use complaining, blue skies follow rain. So say farewell now and get your one last thrill. I said your one last thrill. So say farewell now, farewell, story of you. Oh, your old town queens from New Orleans, yes. your in Storyville 100 years ago making your way and populating jazz in the rest of the world America first this is Don Pipkin with my special home concert brought to you by the Chiswick Calendar and big thanks to um, Larry Price as well for making this happen Larry's actually a, a huge uh, part and driving force for this um, please check out the donation link. The link leads you to Upper Room, um, the Upper Room Homeless Charity. I'm going to just check I've got that right. Yes, the Upper Room Homeless Charity, the Chiswick Calendar, who do so much good work, and me, the artist. So it's like, uh, if you've got some, something to donate, please follow their donate link and help us all out and uh, help keep this music game and art form going as best as we can. I want to tell you about one of my other, there's a few really, that's why I love it so much. Piano players from New Orleans who make me so happy. And this is Henry Roland Bird. Henry Bird was born 1918 and died 62 years of age in 1980. He's better known to the world as Professor Longhair. And right now I'm feeling the Professor Longhair vibe as I'm developing my 1970s length. It's fun, man. We haven't had this since the days of Magnum or... Oh, I don't know, uh, the other guys, Burt Reynolds. Professor Longhead took the kind of Jimmy Yancey. That kind of jigga-boogie-boogie-boogie-boogie style. And he was very influenced by, he'd spent time with Cubans, he'd been listening to the sounds of mambo and Cuban, Afro-Cuban music. And he just came out of nowhere and kind of took a style like that and made it more square. He just made that jump, that imaginative jump and kind of went. So it's more like. Montuno style in his hand as well. I'm drinking rum and Coca-Cola, rum and Coca-Cola, both mother and daughter, working for the Yankee dollar. He brought that whole sort of sensibility and that kind of Latin heat into the rhythm and blues world. This is Professor Longhair's Go to the Mardi Gras, the anthem of Mardi Gras music everywhere. I hope you can hear that style in there. I'm going 
to see that mighty rod Going down to New Orleans I'm gonna see that mighty rod When I get to New Orleans Somebody gonna show me what I've gone before I'm gonna see old New Orleans. Got my ticket in my hand. I go to see old New Orleans. When I get back to New Orleans, somebody gonna show me what come for me. Sounds of Professor Longhair, Henry Rollenberg, the great master of New Orleans, Calypso, Rum Boogie, and all the funky piano that then led on to all the stars that came after him. Somebody who came after Professor Longhair was the wonderful James Booker. And James Booker was a generation further on. He was born in 1939, I think, um, and he died young at the age of 43 in 1983, three years after Professor Longhair passed away. James Booker could, uh, he kind of emerged fully formed and could play uh, Rack Malinoff, he could play classical music, he loved to play the minute walk. <laughs> you could play it, you played it so fast. So like... Like, no kidding. Um, we call that one in the bar. But, 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 you know, you can't really count the other two beats. There's one, 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 one. Um, Booker was, uh, uh, he, he had, he, he sort of was put on morphine when he was a kid through a road accident. And he grew into sort of developing a taste for um, a lot of cocaine and, and heroin. He was a, a hard drug user and he drank a lot. And he kind of wore himself out with mental health stresses and, uh, and drink and drugs. And... Um, yeah, he died untreated at the age of 43, having left behind some astonishing music. Um, he was now being more recognised for his incredible contribution. Arthur Rubenstein, Arthur Rubenstein heard him when, when Booker was 18 
a great concert pianist, and he said, I couldn't play what you're playing at that speed. So James Booker, quite something. This is his version of a song called The Junker Partner Blues. Booker could play with one hand what uh, a lot of players would be really happy to play with two hands. The Junker Partner is a dark tune about uh, uh, looking to get high. The Junker Partner is your, is your buddy in that world. James Booker, down the road, down the road, come on, Mr. Jungle Potter, right now, down the road, down the road, come on, Mr. Jungle Potter, right now. Down the road, come junk a hall fine on. He wasn't loaded as he could be. He wasn't knocked out, knocked out and loaded. He come a wobble all over the street. Singing six months, six months ain't no sentence. Oh no, Lord, he said one year. Ain't no time, no time, no time, no time, no time. I said he knows the boys, he knows the boy. Down in Angola. So remember one year, one year, 99. Down in Angola. When they got fed up, seven, but nine, nine, nine. When I was a rich man.
Such a night, such a night, sweet confusion under the moonlight. With such a night, such a night. Your eyes met mine at a glance. You let me know that this was my chance. But you came here with my best friend Jim. Now here I am trying to steal you away from him. And if I Somebody else will. If I don't do it, he says somebody else will. If I don't do it, you know somebody else will. If I don't do this, somebody else will. And it's a, such a night, such a night. Sweet confusion under the moon. Such a night to steal away yes, at the time. Time seemed right. Baby, your eyes and mine. My heart just skipped a beat when you told me we were weak to go walking down on dark end of the street, but you came here with my best friend. Now here I am trying to steal you away from you. Know what it, but if I, I don't do it, somebody else will. If I don't do it, see, somebody else will. If I don't do it, somebody else will. If I don't do it, see, here somebody else will. And it's such a night.
such a night. Oh, such a night. Yeah, such a night. Somebody else a well. Now if I don't do it, it's about hell. Well, and it's such a night. Oh, such a night. Oh, such a night. Yeah, 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 yeah. such a night. Oh. Dr. John. Dr. John was James Booker's good buddy when they were friends, when they were kids together, teenagers together, and musicians, young musicians together. They both have the same habit for a start. And uh, Dr. John is one of my great inspirations in the audience piano. I met him a couple of times. I played on his piano once, which was really quite wonderful. And uh, he was a just absolute master, much missed when he passed away a year ago. Um, yeah, well, around about where we are now. My name has been Don Pipkin. This has been my lockdown concert for the Chiswick calendar with special um, mention to Upper Room Homeless Charity who would love some of your donations. Um, please do, you know, help out. Um, a huge thanks to Larry Price for helping make this happen, for making this happen, and to everybody at the Chiswick uh, calendar. It's been a wonder. And I can't wait to come out and see you guys again and play for you. If you didn't know me before this, if you're new to me, please look up Don Pipkin. Um, look at my website. We'll make sure it comes onto this video somewhere. Please follow my music and check out what I'm doing and uh, check out my online shows and that kind of thing at this time. Um, everybody say happy and well. I'm raising my glass of red to you. It's been a pleasure to spend time with you in this concert. And I'm going to finish with a song on my forthcoming solo record, which the, the name of the record is Come On Sunshine. And it's all original songs by me. This one is a, a, a homage uh, a love affair with New Orleans, a love letter to New Orleans, and it's called Love Affair with New Orleans. Um, yeah, and it's on my new record, which you can find if you follow me and check out what you can find. Um, take it easy, everybody, and thanks once again. Love affair with New Orleans. Fill my cup, lay me down with you. See my friends at the little gem saloon. Spirits scorched by the sun and condensed by the moon. Point your car, point in my direction. Cruise control down Claiborne Avenue. Got me from the first, but I could break it. Could fly back to LA, but then I'm forsaken. So. So fraudulent, worry. Why would I worry? You know, really. Hey.
everything, everything is broken. You're so very, very hard to please. So take me back, back to the beginning. Leave a little something for my dreams, cause you've got me on the road again, yeah, you'll find me there, and it'll never end my love affair, love affair with me. Thank you, everybody. See you on the camp. Take it easy.